Alright, so welcome to a new tutorial series of mine. This is going to be about teaching Kotlin as a programming language and it's going to be very relevant to Android development. And this is more aimed towards people who are still using Java, although if you have no prior experience to programming, that is fine as well. But I'm going to quote Java quite a bit because I find it so relevant and honestly, I don't think I would use Kotlin so comfortably without Java. And most of the documentation I read is in Kotlin now, but every time I find a clip in Java or whatever, I know how to translate it to Kotlin because it is so straightforward and it reduces so much boilerplate code and Google supports it, which means it's definitely worth learning if you are using Android Studio and you want to create native apps for Android. But enough said about Kotlin and why you should learn it. Let's just jump right into it. We're going to create a very simple program. It's going to ask you, what's your name? You're going to be able to input your name and it's going to say, hello, your name. The first thing we want to do is create a function. So to do that, we're going to write function main and every project requires a main function. This is where all the code gets executed. And in Kotlin, you don't have to create a class. It's auto generated for you. In Java, you would have to have a class above it. And this is the exact same equivalent to having the Java public static void main string arguments one, but we don't need that. So let's just continue with the Kotlin version. So in here, the first thing we want to do is write print line, which might look very familiar to you if you know, if you've used Java before. And if we actually go to the documentation, it's going to tell you right here, it is exactly the same as the Java version, but it's just shortened down. So it's system.out.println. So Kotlin really likes to reduce code in many respects. And inside here, we're going to ask, what is your name? All right, and right under there, we're going to write value name equals read line. So essentially what we're doing here is creating a value that's named name and the read line method just takes the user input and puts it into the value. And I'll explain later what a value is in the next video, but for now, just copy down what you see. It will become very clear very soon. And then we're gonna copy the statement from above. It's gonna be print line, and we're gonna write hello. And using interpolation, we are going to write name and exclamation mark. And then all you have to do to test the program is go ahead and click on the plane button and write on run. All right, so down here it has successfully printed what is your name to the console. Down here it's just asking for input, so I'm just gonna write James. And then you click enter and it's gonna say, hello James. So essentially it was just waiting for your user inputs and it just added your name down here because this value name was used for this string. And you successfully created your first program in Kotlin. And in the next video, I promise I'm gonna explain a lot more of the basics in Kotlin. But for now, all we've done is create a very basic program and that's a good start already. So remember to leave a like or a comment if you like this video and if you have any suggestions, of course. But uh, other than that, I will see you in the next video.